Hello and welcome to Atlanta in the ARC car. Um, I think I'm going to enjoy this one. It's one of those mile and a half that I love oh so much. And at least in qualifying, I think I'm going to be able to run the high side. It seems like uh, you can do a good hot lap from the high line. And I'm excited about that. Oh wait, hold on, I don't have my steering offset the way I like it. Just remembered that. So I've got uh, 16 to 1. Uh, brakes back, I don't think we're going to need them. But just in case the car gets super duper tight or something on old tires, it'll be back for us. Just in case. And uh, now we got my steering offset to negative 15, because I don't like the way that this thing uh, naturally pulls to the left. So, uh... Personal preference on that one. So, it's gonna be real slick. At the start. I might have accidentally just touched that white line. Is it gonna be mad at me and black flag me? I hope not. Okay, I think we're good. <laughs> um, so long as I don't get into the wall, I feel like I should be able to put a decent Q lap down. Hope so. Green, green, green. Okay, here comes your first I think usually lap. second lap is probably a little better. It seems like the tires have more grip by that point. Alright, well that's 0, 0.00 on my best, so apparently I'm identical to what I did before. Uh, a little weird there. That's okay, though. And uh, let's push it a little bit more here since we have a decent lap down. What can we do? It almost feels like it's a little, uh, little grippier than it was in the practice session. Maybe the track's a bit cooler. Getting that runoff. Ooh, I slid just a tiny bit at the end there, and I think that's gonna make it a little worse. But hey, all right, we uh, did a little bit better that time. We are P2 at the moment. It's a 31.379. My best was a 3.53, so just about there. Happy with that. Mr. Parker McDonald with the pole at the moment. Very nice lap. I don't think I've ever seen him before. He's been around before. Um, but he's pretty fast, looks like, so we'll probably be uh, racing around him until I uh, tear my tires off, as usual, I'm sure. Um, during the race, um, as much as it pains me to say, I don't think the high line's going to be where I want to be. I think I'm going to have to preserve tires, and that means maybe taking a line that somewhat looks like this. Right, lift off. Get it part way through the corner and then gas it up and then kind of control the loose on exit. Maybe that'll save the tires. As usual, never listen to me when it comes to tire saving. I can talk about, I can talk all day about what I think is going to work, but is it going to actually work? Probably not. Gosh. I'm pretty much terrible <laughs> at any other line other than the high line. So... I mean, I'm going to try, but... Uh, that, wasn't... <laughs> that wasn't that bad, I guess. But, I mean, you can see, like, uh, compared to the best lap, tires have a little bit of wear now, but... Kind of kick it. And... I don't know, maybe we need to harvick it even lower down there and get real close to that white line and let that help turn us see how that feels. Um, it is, well, it's technically Tuesday now because it's like midnight right now, but I just got home from work and uh, first thing I've done is jump on iRacing to check out all the new combos for this week and you know I'm rushing to ARCA because it's my favorite. So I haven't actually watched any videos on this yet to get any tips. And I always like doing that, especially when it comes to tire saving, which is a big weak point of mine. So I'll watch guys like Nick or Gavin and 
see uh, how they're going about it. This might be what I need to do down there. That's so slow, though. Look at that. Ugh, bleeding that time. It's, uh, you know Atlanta and its rough surface. Probably going to need to save those tires. So we end up P2, everyone's favorite starting position. We don't get to see what our tires were because it changed sessions. So that's a bummer. Kind of wanted to see what it lo was looking like after those laps. Or maybe I'm that good. Hey, look how good I saved my tires. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, let me just do a double check because I'm paranoid. Got everything good here. Okay. I can't go on ham on this mouse toy. Hopefully that's not obnoxious. One to go. Next time by. You're on the outside this time. Closed. Pit road mm. is closed. Alright. See what we can do. I'm going to try not to get run over from behind. I might go a little faster the first couple laps just to get a little distance. But from there, it's going to be tire saving. And uh, maybe old number two next to us knows what he's doing, and maybe we can mimic his process of saving tires, see what he's doing. My assumption is <laughs> that people around me always know better than I do when it comes to tire saving, because that's often the case. So, see how it goes. Atlanta's a fun track, though. Thank you, you too. Jasper, please. I'm recording. Jasper. Good luck, guys. This cat, man. Arguing with me. Um. Yeah, not much to talk about here. Just gotta get going. 35 laps. And that's plenty of time for the Atlanta surface to rip our tires apart. At least until they, uh, bring us the new version next year. With its, you know... Third banking and no take on speeds Speed and whatever. I'm actually really interested. So everyone's kind of like bemoaning the new Atlanta because I mean we kind of. All right, stop. Stop it. I kick my cat out of here. He's being obnoxious. Need to follow the pace car. What was I saying? All right. Yeah. So the um new Atlanta. Very high banking. We got the NYPD in here. And, uh, you know, they got the new cars, so it's all flat out and everything. But uh, I'm kind of wondering what the racing will look like on, you know, some of these older cars, like the Arca car and stuff. Like, is it really, is it still going to be flat out? Probably, but uh, I don't know. Maybe it could end up being fun. Um, maybe it won't be flat out. Maybe you still have to lift a little bit, and, you know, you'll have high speeds and stuff. We don't know until we, uh, we see it. So... Uh, second gear start looks like. Okay. So uh, even though maybe not the most popular decision to repave Atlanta, maybe it'll be fun. Maybe we'll have some entertainment from it. I figure out where, uh, where the two's gonna be. About to go green. Stay focused. Oh, I hate starting second. Race car is in. Post car is off. Time to do your job. Green, green, green. Pit road is now open. He got across the line first, right? I didn't just black flag myself. I hope so. Or I hope not. I don't. Ho I don't hope for a black flag. Sorry, I have I have race things going on right now. Actually, you know how it is. Can't use word brain brain words all right so we are going down to the bottom here that seems to be the play I'm not gonna try to pass Parker here for a while I'm just gonna try to protect the tires the next car's the leader. Arvik it don't spin it <laughs> if driving the bottom line is Harvicking the corner. What is spinning out in the corner? I don't want to be mean, so let me not <laughs> let me not name anyone. Well, the guys behind are probably gonna catch us if we're trying to do this uh, tire saving line. I have to lead us. So. 
Alright, so I'm going to try to get it turning using the throttle instead of using the wheel. Driving a little harder. Hmm. He's definitely moving out on us. He's entering higher. I don't know, man. They would just let me run my high line. The car outside. Still there, hold your line. Clear. So he's moving Still to the outside. Line. I don't want to battle him all that long. Still there, hold your line. V2, up left, was Keep low. Clear. That's what I like. Here, I can clear me on the outside. Maybe we'll be able to pass him later. Hmm. Okay, so if I kind of enter mid, midway up the track, kind of like that, or you know, take like the middle line entering, lift off here, let it roll, and then get on the gas and that starts turning it. I don't have to turn the wheel much myself. There might be something to that. I think that's what I'm gonna go with. I think this might be the way. Uh, they're gonna be passing us unfortunately, but hopefully they will burn their tires off in the process. Yeah, they're gassing it up more mid corner than we are. Clear outside if you want it. Just uh, gotta hope we don't get run over, I guess. Ugh, there's a lot of people behind us, though. It's making me nervous. Try to stick to my guns. Uh, keep the tire saving train going. A little loose, that's good news. Fought through it. Alright, it almost looks like they're falling off already. Some of the guys that really picked the throttle early on. Get the sneaking suspicion that uh, Parker up there is gonna be able to be fast and save tires. So we might not have the win in our sights. Maybe the 16? Maybe we'll be able to catch him if we save tires well enough. But that remains to be seen. But uh, you know, it doesn't take long. Atlanta, for you to start feeling the effects of these, uh, the older tires. Ooh, that feels great. I do like this, uh, this method we got going here. So, maximize your entry. Kind of point towards the middle. Wait until it sticks. And then get the extra rotation you need through throttle and not turning. Okay, that's kind of what I'll do. Alright. And, uh, even if we don't move forward. Hopefully we'll at least maintain this spot and get ourselves a podium. Hey, that'd be pretty cool. We are the number three, so bronze medal is what is predicted of us. I don't know where the number one is. I didn't even really look at uh, who it was or anything. Uh-oh, 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 don't overcorrect. Please, for the love of God. Okay. Good. Ooh. Hey, that's second. Second place. As long as we don't do that. Keep second place, maybe. Mm, a little lower on the track than I'm used to, so we're fine. Had to be careful, because it really can get loose on exit. 
and you're that low. Alright. Keeping an eye behind us. We've got uh, Tomoya behind us in the number five. Keeping up just fine. I imagine they're probably saving tires as well. So they're going to be something we have to keep an eye on the whole race, I imagine. Parker up there has, uh, is maintaining that 2.1. It seems like. He seems like he's been at 2.1 for, for a while now. So I guess he's probably maintaining. And uh, second back to the guys fighting for fourth. And if they're fighting, they're not saving tires as well. So... Feeling pretty good so far. Now, something I just thought of right now, since I haven't really seen anyone race this this week yet, as far as I know, this thing's going to get more loose. That also would be news to me. It actually is almost feeling like it's getting more loose on exit. So that's interesting. I don't know what that would mean for me. That would mean I should push a little harder? Maybe. Of course, it could still be getting looser, but also being hard on the right front. That just means you're going slower. So, I don't know. I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing here. Because it seems to be working. We're now driving away from the five behind us, it looks like. Or maybe he just had one back corner, but seeing good signs and good signs are good so but uh, Parker has actually dro driven away a little bit so I'm thinking my suspicion was correct he is one of those people that could drive fast and save tire got that magic pixie dust that allows that to happen I don't know I have to figure out where to find that stuff right now I have to focus on saving this tire. It could be. I might also be pushing too hard right now. Maybe that's why we're walking away from the guy behind. That could mean that I should be backing it down even more as the tires wear. I've got to adjust with the, with the changing car a little bit more. Not sure. I do have to get off the, uh... Mm, it's pretty loose. I'm really fighting it on the exit. Um... Mm. Sorry, I'm, I'm talking less and less, because I really have to concentrate. This thing is getting harder and harder to control. Just, uh, it's kind of getting tighter on entry and looser on exit. <laughs> so, I mean, go figure. But, uh, alright. Oh, that's a bummer. The guy that was second, that kind of half spun earlier, I think he was like the number 16. They have disconnected, so maybe they wrecked some more or something. That's too bad. They had good speed. Hate to see that. I think I need to adjust something here because my uh, my previous method of kind of like kicking the throttle to get it started turning, well, it's still getting it turning, but a little too much almost because I'm getting loose now. So I'm gonna start more easing onto the gas. I guess with the tires having less grip now, you can't just be uh, kicking the throttle. So start. Uh, Gradually easing into the gas instead. Seems to be doing all right. Pretty happy with how consistent our lap times are, though. They're still, you know, within a tenth every time it seems. And 
And uh, that's tough to do at Atlanta. Feel you're falling off pretty good here, so. If I can keep it from falling more than a tenth or so every lap, then I think I'm doing an alright job. That got loose. Whoa, Parker's doing wheelies up there. <laughs> I was just thinking, like, all right, I'm going to see what he's doing. Maybe he's changed his line, and maybe I need to change my line as well. But then he did a wheelie, and I'm like, I can't do that. I don't have that capability. I didn't buy the hydraulics add-on iRacing provides. <laughs> and then I got distracted by said wheelie and didn't actually pay attention to where his line was. So, where are you running? faster guy, more talented guy. Still doing the same line it looks like. So, alright. We're doing the right thing. I, uh, I assume. Suddenly it's looking like we're not going to be racing anyone for the rest of this one. Uh oh, my phone's ringing. Can't answer that. And I can't even reach it from here. Sorry, I'm going to have to listen to music in the background for about 10 seconds. Sorry, I really should put that on mute before I start recording, but I don't think about it. Hopefully it's not even coming through. Hopefully it's considered background noise and my compression slash limiter and stuff uh, cuts that out. Gate, two, Speaking two, of one. cutting out, I forgot about people I like, like talking. It, go to gear and then pull it back and go too far and it'll bump it. Shit. Was Parker talking and giving away all his secrets and I've been missing it? So his name. Yeah, I had a pretty <laughs> nice week in Talladega. Like four straight clean races and then like four straight eight x races. I was talking about racing experiences, it sounds like. Assume we didn't miss too much. Aaron, Aaron I don't want to pick a bad spot, so I'm not going to just put oh. it underneath again so I can... Where'd this corner come from? Be all the way through. Suddenly I took that like a tenth faster. So come off the corner however you want. What if I... <laughs> you know I had to try it. It's faster, but am I going to kill my tires doing this? I think I'll save that for later. I'll have that in my back pocket. Maybe with a couple laps to go or something. Maybe I'll only do it in turns one and two or something. Easy there, Bill. What's well, kind of scary, though? It's scary driving in there next to the wall, not knowing how much it's going to grip, because you haven't been running up there. So you don't know, like, how much you have to lift off. Which side? I didn't know they were going to slow in front of you there. We got a lap car coming up. I have to watch out for that. We got a few enough laps in this one left that's uh, kind of okay with potentially burning some tire off by running this higher line. We're not going to catch them, though, I don't think, unless there's a mistake made, but. Oh, well, we'll run up there. It would be doing myself a disservice not to give it my all. So. We'll run the high line a couple laps. See how it feels. Some weird frame drops there for a second. Makes me wonder if someone crashed. Because, uh, the damage model on these ARCA cars can kind of mess with the frame rate a little bit. It used to be my old computer, I couldn't run ARCA at all. When I first started iRacing, I did rookie street stocks, and then when I got my D license, I had to just keep doing rookie yeah, street stocks because I couldn't do ARCA racing. Because anytime someone would hit the wall and the damage model would kick in, my CPU would get overloaded. My, my old computer couldn't handle it. So I couldn't do ARCA racing. I never even got to do my first ARCA race for a long time. I wanted to shoot a red turtle shell at a guy last race, but I can't find a button. And uh, what I ended up having to do to climb the ladder was, I believe what I did was, rookie street stock, got my D license, and then I got... got D like 
whatever it is, like 4.5 safety rating or whatever, and then went straight to trucks. I think that's what I did. Because I think if you have like D 4.5 safety rating or what? Oh god, don't spin in front of me. Oh, oh scary. Okay. Uh, I think if you have a high enough safety rating, you can actually do uh, races from the class above. And I believe that's what I ended up being able to do. And so I skipped Arca, and I never did Arca for a long time. So that's interesting. I... nervous. Hello. Oh, Mr. Plow, that's a great episode of The Simpsons. Where are you taking it? Okay. Outside. Wasn't sure which line he was going to take. Somehow I managed to be scared of him and, t and take that corner better. Maybe I have to be more in fear to be faster. Pretend something scary is chasing me. Something scary like, uh, I don't know, what am I scared of? Spiders? Big spider chasing me? Street stock race. A street stock race is uh, chasing me. A super speedway. That corner was terrible. Never mind. Stop thinking of scary things. <laughs> Alright, we're just going to ride this one out then, I guess, because uh, I think we're good on being caught from behind, and I think Parker has uh, checked out. He's probably just, uh, you know, whistling a tune and having a grand old drive. Two left to go. Two to go. <laughs> but uh, we're uh, shining silver at the moment. Just pretty grand. Did you say myself? So myself. I can say so myself. I was looking at the graph. Hmm. So I guess if this was a uh, higher strength of the field race, I probably would not be doing too good. Look at that. I should have been. Maybe I should be running the lower line. That's too late now. What? <laughs> White flag. Hits altercations for things of the touch. Let's fan their low like that. Right. It's gonna kill my runoff, right? Oh, this thing's not turning. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think. Uh, I don't think there was much to do there. I got waited too long to start pushing. So we'll just roll on through this corner and take our E2. Yeah, after assuming I don't somehow mess it up. There the way they were running, but they cleaned it up. Good win, Parker. I had nothing for you. Thank you. Yeah, I think it's mana. I think it's just clean air. It's gotta be. Nice one, Carter. Chicken flag. You're just mad at him. Yeah. Right yeah, I'm not in it. Really well. I will tell you, he's a tough man to beat, even in the fish race with our horses. <laughs> All right, that was a great finish, though. P2, I love it. And it was a fun race. Very clean race. I didn't see anything from where I was sitting anyway. Uh, except for that 16 who so, uh, kind of half self spun. It's a good win and good race haul. Yeah, it was. All right. Pretty happy with myself and like. being able to take care of the tires somewhat. 63, 72. We'll put it in chat. See if anyone uh, finds that useful or interesting. 64, 75. 59. Sixty-nine right front, seventy-nine right here. Seventy-nine, yeah, he just... Oh, yeah, that's nice. That's he saved tires better and was faster, what did I tell you? I don't know. I don't know how they do it. I don't know. <laughs> what? Whatever. Uh, started second, finished second. That's, why does that always happen? I always finish where I started. Damn, Shane, you must have thought it was a 65 that day. David, we can use this next week. Oh, yeah, no, so I said I waited too long to, to get going. I mean, you saw how quickly I was catching um, the guys that finished right in front of me. It's called them 17. Yeah, I told them how bad the fall off was, so that was probably all. Just letting them talk <laughs> and seeing what the incidents are? No, not really. I just thought, honestly, I thought this was more wrecked. That's just a tap. I'll probably go <laughs> to the next one. Straight away. Them up a little more. But I needed to clean race. That might get me back over the 3 Link out. thing. They got oh, this was the 16. Time. Hold on. Oh, he got the wall. That's what put him sideways. Yeah, that's uh, that's the risk you take. So I'm thinking he probably would have been falling off anyway because he was running the high side, and that just kills your tires. And 
As I always say, I would love nothing more to run the high side the whole time, but you just can't. It tears the tires off too much. So, you know. Even if he doesn't get into the wall there, he's probably going to be falling back eventually, but it still stinks, because, uh, well, it's bad for the car in a number of ways. <laughs> Least of your concerns are the tires at that point, so. There we go, my, uh, Tyler Reddick inspired mobile. Tyler Reddick, of course, known for running the high side. Part of why he's one of my favorite racers at the moment. And NASCAR. Oh, here's what happened to the 16 later. More wall hit. Yeah, you just can't uh, take it as hard as you do early in the race. And man, that really pulled him off. That's that's kind of strange because normally the Arca car, you know, you're you're stuck to the wall when you touch it. But here, it almost looks like it bounces him off unless you just put like a, you know, like. 900 degrees of turn left when he hit the wall to get it off quick as possible and it just did that to him does he get collected or does he collect anyone i mean oh my god oh no that was so close oh uh, just about everybody was about able to miss him in fact everyone did except for the last person it was mr plow mr plow's right on through him oof like he's a big bundle of snow I'm assuming 15 laps in, their tires are probably not as grippy. And so maybe while they were trying to dodge him, they didn't have as much grip to turn left as they wanted and just couldn't get it turned. Now, pardon me for a second, I just want to check out this paint scheme. I like it a lot. <laughs> oh wait, let me get it undamaged. Whoop! All better. <laughs> I like it. Shame what happened to it. Oh my god. That was quite a hit. Alright, what else we got? Try oval trouble. What's that I'm looking at on the game scheme? Oof. Entry trouble. Oh, that's Zootopia. What did Parker do up here? I bet it's... Yeah, I figured it was either... Prediction code thinking he hit the wall when he didn't, or a blink out. And I uh, was correct. That's probably when he did the wheelie. Oh, yeah, Mike. I do remember. Mike was the one that won the um, <clears throat> Bristol race that we uh, we were in last week. So, you know, he's fast. I think uh, he did himself a disservice by not qualifying. Because you just burn up so much tire coming through the field like that. Um, where did he qualify? 16th, yeah. So he went from 16th to 5th, but there's just no way that you're going to be able to keep the tires on there enough to keep up that momentum all the way through the front. So I feel like qualifying is important here. Don't know what else we're seeing. Going to hit the wall and exit, or? No? Nothing? I don't know. Garen's Dream Machine. Hitting the wall. Mr. Plow has resurfaced. Let's hit the wall entry. Blink. We got the. Oh, that's a Tony Stewart Christmas themed Home Depot car. I remember that one. It was an alternate paint in one of those early uh, EA Sports games, NASCAR Thunder games, I think, an alternate paint. Whoa! Whoa! That was a pretty good save. He takes it into the wall afterward, but man, that was pretty sideways. That was nicely done, keeping that thing from spinning. I want to see that again. Man, that's like some Jamie McMurray. I just, I'm making a lot of references to NASCAR. It makes sense because <laughs> this is a NASCAR video, but <laughs> I feel like I'm overdoing it. I'm like, oh, that was a Jamie McMurray save. Uh-oh. I found myself almost doing exactly this later in the run because like I said it's loose on uh, or tight on entry loose on exit and if you kind of like go in 
the bottom there and you kind of take it in too far, you just suddenly have no grip at all. And I think that's what's happening to him here. He's got no grip. It's just going all the way up the track. Ooh, kind of fishtails a little bit too. He's going the right direction though. Hello. What's up? Look at that. I don't know why we're seeing that. I'm wondering if some people hit that 50 mark or something though. Maybe we're seeing that because this is the last lap. And uh, uh oh, we got spin out after <laughs> after the uh, race is over. Mr. Plow had a rough one, but he did win best paint scheme, so there's that. And uh, we won ourselves a silver medal. That's what we got. Not quite the gold, but I'm proud of that. Um, very happy. Uh, that'll put us over 4,000 I rating, I imagine. I mean, we definitely are, because I was at 3,996, and uh, I doubt I'm going to lose it, lose any from getting second, so that should put us over 4,000, which is pretty cool. Hooray, meaningless numbers. But, uh, yeah, all right. Did everything we needed to do, I think. Proud of myself for not falling off completely on tires. I made a special effort not to do that, and I think we kind of pulled it off, so that's awesome. Not quite the, uh, the best of the best out there. Still can't uh, figure out how these guys do it. The guys that come in here and just like, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna run a fast lap the whole time, and, you know, have tires at the end. And I, just, no, I don't know. But uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I enjoyed it. Always love Arca and uh, enjoy Atlanta too. It's a pretty good track. So I'll see you next time.